Hello, my name is Mariana Gonzalez, and I will be presenting my project for material science class on shape memory alloys, specifically on martensite and austenite phases of the NITI. So first of all, what are shape memory alloys? They are a group of metallic materials that have the unique ability to remember their or original shape and return to it after being deformed. These metals also have a quality called super elasticity. Like rubber, when it is bent or stretched, it will return to its original shape when the deforming force is removed. There are several SMAs, but the most relevant are nickel titanium alloys. They have the best shape recovery performance, durability, and corrosion resistance. NITI alloys have two phases, austenite and martensite. Austenite is an FCC crystal structure and martensite is a BCC crystal structure. FCC and BCC structures. SMAs have, the, have either a face center cubic or body center cubic structure. The FCC structure has a more closely packed arrangement of atoms while the BCC structure has a more open arrangement. NITI can undergo a structure change upon a change in temperature from martensite, BCC, to austenite, FCC, and vice versa. For the martensite phase, when SMAs are cooled below a certain temperature, they can undergo a phase transformation from austenite to martensite. The martensite phase has a different crystal structure than austenite, which results in a significant change in the material's properties. The martensitic transformation involves the reorientation of atoms from a FCC structure to a BCC structure. This process results in a change in shape and decreasing material volume. Here's where the shape memory effect comes in. When the martensite phase is deformed, it can be restored to its original shape by heating it above its transformation temperature. This process is known as the shape memory effect. Here is my 3D model for the martensite, which is a BCC structure, and I'll show you show it here. So here's my model, and in the next slides you will see the difference between the martensite and the austenite phase. Then for the austenite phase, heating the martensite phase above its transformation temperature results in a phase transformation from martensite to austenite. The austenite phase has an FCC structure and a larger volume than martensite. Transformation. Austenite can transform into other phases open cooling or deformation. The most common transformation is the martensitic transformation, which results in a BCC crystal structure. The transformation can be induced by changes in temperature or mechanical stress. And again, the shape memory effect. The austenite transformation involved the reorientation of atoms from a BCC structure to an FCC structure. This process, this process results in a change in shape and an increase in material volume. And here's my auto 3D model for the austenite FCC which we can see here. We can see how different it is from the BCC one. Now the two-way shape memory effect. The two-way shape memory effect occurs when the material is deformed in the mar martensite phase, then heated to the austenite phase, deformed again, and finally cooled back to the martensite phase. The material will return to its original shape in the martensite phase open heating. So in this picture, you can see how it's first is austenite, then you cool it down, then you, it gets to martensite, it deforms again, and then when you heat it again, it goes to austenite again. So I found interesting characteristics of the NITI alloy. Um, you can see here the density, specific heat, resistance, thermal conductivity, and then different hardness and elongation in the martensite and austenite phases. 
Some applications of the SMAs. SMAs have a wide range of applications, including medical implants, aerospace, and robotics. The shape memory effect can be utilized in these applications to create self-healing and self-repairing materials. In conclusion, the shape memory the shape memory effect of SMAs is a unique and useful property that arises from the mertensite and austenite phases. Understanding the crystal structure and phase transformation is essential for utilizing these materials in various applications. Thank you for your time. Anyone has any question?